Hello again, welcome back to my channel. Cat Rambo here, your medicine woman. You may be asking yourself a question here that uh, my sister has since given up asking, which is, Cat, what is on your head this time? I just did a video about hair care, so this is an awesome herbal pack that I'm going to rinse out a little bit later, but I really wanted to uh, make another video here and talk to you about perception. I walked into my parents' house and I noticed a great amount of animosity going on. Now it is April 15th, the Ides of April beware, tax day. So the, my father is an accountant. There's a lot of, uh, let's say, intense emotions flying, a lot of stress. So I wanted to talk about perception and projection. So the truth is we don't see in anyone else what isn't already in us. So this is how we become invulnerable also. Um, if there just isn't anger in you, then if someone gets mad at you, you're just not even going to be available for that. So you can design for yourself the life you want by choosing the types of experiences you want to have by being that person first. That's responsibility with your emotions. So um, let's talk about communication. If, if you know that what you see in someone else is really what's in you, when you notice someone else acting with defensiveness, anger, stress, take a minute to reevaluate yourself and say, okay, where are these things in me? Now, it is true that um, to observe emotions that you're not living through in someone else, it, it's not that you may be present with that in the moment, but it is in you. You wouldn't notice it otherwise. You ever have uh, one of those days, you know what I'm talking about, and how does the expression go if everyone in the room is... Um, is a meanie, then maybe you're the meanie, you know, that uh, it's possible that when you have an amazing day and everyone around you is just, you know, such a good person, really, no matter what, it's, it's okay, that uh, you've noticed this principle already, that what you're seeing around you is what's in you. So knowing that it is true, that the world around you is a reflection of yourself, if you're noticing patterns through your day, Maybe everyone feels a little bit ag aggravated today, or maybe everyone's just really nice today. Isn't that lovely? That um, maybe what you're experiencing is a reflection of yourself. Use that as an opportunity to self-evaluate and take a look at yourself and say, where am I aggravated today? Or where am I happy today and positive and feeling good? And um, in this evaluation, it's going to give you an op opportunity to name something and then change it. So if you're not feeling good today, then understand that that's all right, and then make a difference, make a choice. You know, what is your internal state and how are you projecting that onto the world around you? So as we go to communicate with others, be mindful of this. It's very unfair that we do this all the time. We choose how another is going to respond or react based on their past patterns or based on how we're feeling in our current state. So be mindful of your current state and know that as you're approaching others and as you're approaching your own life and your own self, uh, to be very aware and make a decision about what it is that you want to see and experience and receive in your life. It's true that whatever it is that we're with is what we're also going to be experiencing from others. So this is part of the reason that if you choose a certain way of being, that you will start to attract that way of being in others around you, which will make it easier then to encourage that in yourself too. So when you see it, recognize it and be grateful for it. But also when you see a set of emotions, especially in the form of a pattern that you don't love, back engineer that idea and rather than projecting outward continuing to project outward and saying everyone around me is horrible realize maybe you're horrible maybe you're being horrible right now maybe you feel horrible maybe it's you because it is you so get with that idea and we've all had that breakthrough moment where we're with someone who's in a terrible mood and um, we somehow manage to stay calm, stay loving, stay compassionate and help get them out of it or at least be a source of peace for them we have that option all the time. That's not a breakthrough moment. That's a way of living. So think about getting with that. And even when you see a lot of frustration around you, the trick is first to observe, okay, where, where am I frustrated? You know, where am I frustrated that I'm recognizing it so readily? But then also back engineer that and say, how can I change my state to change the state of what I'm seeing and what I'm witnessing and what I'm receiving? And then how can I choose a state that not only feel good, feels good for myself, 
but also is a place of being able to support compassionately the people around us. Patterns around us are an awesome way to evaluate ourselves. And um, your external world is, is a reflection of your internal world. So if you look around in your life and you observe a specific pattern, understand that you just look in a mirror. That's what you're looking at is a mirror. That's what's going on for you. A lot of times we see patterns in our lives that we think can't possibly be us. It's just everyone else. I have that bad relationship and it's nothing to do with me. It's just the same bad relationship again and again. We all know someone like that. That might be you, you know, but the trick to getting an out of that pattern to exiting that pattern is to take full responsibility for it, to understand that it is you. There's something in you that is causing this pattern in your life. We like a cause and effect equation to have us on the effect side. They did this, therefore I reacted this way. Are you sure? How about we take more responsibility and turn that around? What if, what if you were the cause and your life was the effect? And it is possible to live that way, but it requires owning up to some difficult truths. For example, man, that string of bad relationships was me. I saw in every partner I chose the same traits that I loathe the most in myself. How do I heal myself and then not see those relationships again? Not because I suddenly made a better choice, but because I was unconsciously compelled to what it is that I am. So um, consider this the next time you're dealing with difficult people, especially if you notice in your day that a lot of people you're dealing with are difficult. Maybe you're the difficult people. <laughs> We've all been that person and that's okay. But now that we know better, it becomes more okay to take responsibility for that, own that, change it willfully, intentionally, and then live differently. Not just for ourselves, but for those around us. You know the routine. Like, subscribe, all the buttons. And of course, let me know if there's a topic that is interesting for you or that you're seeing a lot of in your life and would like to work through um, more proactively in order to move past faster and uh, with more clarity. Give me some feedback on what patterns it is that you see in your life and how you think that it may or may not be a reflection of what's going on in your internal world. Send me a message. I love to hear from you. Uh, leave a comment, whatever, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. So I just heard something awesome. Thank you to Maddie Elise for bringing this to my attention. If you search Medicine Woman on YouTube, you have the, you know, regular litany of uh, shamans and other spirit healers and and, um, but if you use my name, the associated videos are like bot flies and stuff. So if anyone is a genius with how to make sure that my YouTube searches do or do not come up with bot flies, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of into it. What if, what if they always do come up with bot flies? Like, I feel like I'm okay with that. They are fascinating. So I don't know. It's interesting. Who, who knows about how, how these, uh, how these things work? I, I'm not sure. Someone tell me, won't you? <laughs>